Is business development representative, also known as sales development representative, also known as tech sales or software sales, a good career? That is the question we are going to be answering in today's video. Now, these are all slightly different careers, uh, depends on whether it's inbound or outbound, et cetera, but overall it falls under the umbrella of tech sales. Now, technology is an industry that has an incredible amount of opportunity and sales is one of the most valuable skill sets that you can possibly learn. So you combine those two things together and you have a phenomenal career. Now, I have interviewed several people on this channel and I plan to interview more in the future. One of them is somebody who got his first job in tech sales at 19 years old and he started making 70, $75,000 a year in his very first year. Another one is somebody who's well down the line in their career and they make over $500,000 a year in tech sales. And after watching this video, if you think it might be a good career for you, but you want to know more information, there is some free training, which I will put down in the description and in the pinned comment below. You can check that out. It's with a company called Course Careers that oftentimes gets people jobs within one to two months in tech sales. And if you decide to use their service, I do have a coupon code $50 off. It's Shane50. You can check that out as well. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some of the most important categories here. And probably the most important thing of all is going to be job growth. So this is one of those careers that's so new that there actually isn't any information on BLS or government websites. So we have to go to places like Glassdoor, et cetera, and use self-reported data. Now, the reason that, that job growth is so important is because if there is a skill set that's in high demand, that typically leads to higher pay, better job satisfaction, more flexibility, et cetera. So if you look at sales development in general, you'll see that 244,000 results pop up when you type Type that in. And if you look at sales development at the entry level, you'll see that 103,000 results pop up. So that is phenomenal. And that's not counting business development or software sales or tech sales, etc., because it has a bunch of different names. And considering that the technology industry is the second fastest growing industry overall, according to BLS, behind the medical industry, this is phenomenal. So this is something I've been talking about for years now on this channel, how this skill set, uh, tech sales, is in such high demand. And this is the only career that I know of that I routinely see people getting a job within one month. That's right. There are many people out there who literally start their first paid job in tech sales within one month of trying to get into it. Now, two or three months is phenomenal even, but one month is just totally unheard of, but you can do that in tech sales. So this one is gonna have a 10 out of 10 when it comes to job growth. Now, next we're gonna talk about job satisfaction. And this one is extremely subjective. For one person, this could be a 10 out of 10 career, and another person, it could be one out of 10. And there isn't a whole lot of data out there, unfortunately, on sales development representative, business development representative, et cetera, because it's such a new career. But with that being said, a similar career is sales engineer and you see that the job satisfaction is 74% and the meaning score is 46%. So very high job satisfaction, relatively medium levels of meaning. Now the truth is, I'll just be blunt here, not everyone is going to enjoy sales. I did a sales job and it was actually my favorite job that I've ever had, but it's not everyone's cup of tea. I will say that I think everybody should do a sales job at least once in their life so that they understand how it works and because of the fact that it's just such a valuable skill set. And the reason for for that is because you have to put yourself in the other person's shoes and ask what did they want but the great thing and this factors into it when i talk about job satisfaction is that you are you know not really sacrificing a lot in order to get into this career path right you don't have to go to school for four years or do a residency or have a bunch of background experience etc cetera, etc cetera. you can literally get into it within one month and if you don't like it you work for a few months you can quit and try something else so there's not a lot of risk here and in my opinion because of that it increases the job satisfaction on top of that there is a good amount of flexibility as well which in my opinion also increases job satisfaction you have a lot of ability to grow both vertically and horizontally and by that I mean there are jobs that are above sales development representative you can become a manager or even a vice president of the company and there are some vice presidents out there of sales that make over 10 million dollars a year and then horizontally it's really good as well because nobody understands the company's customers better than the people who are selling to them so if you want to move into a position that has nothing to do with sales there's a lot of great opportunity there as well for 
instance, if you want to become an executive. And just generally speaking, it's a super valuable skill to know overall, and it's going to help you whether you want to go down the business route, whether you want to go the executive route, or you just want to continue to be a salesperson. But like I said, this is not everybody's cup of tea. And for that reason, I will give the job satisfaction a 7.5 out of 10. But again, take this with a grain of salt, extremely subjective. Next one on the list is going to be salary. Now, BLS does not have business development representative numbers. However, sales engineers make about $103,000 a year, and they're growing at 8%, which is as fast as average. Sales engineer is not the same thing, but it's a career path you might move into from this one. And Glassdoor has technical sales jobs making about $98,000 a year. So out of all the entry-level careers you can get into with no experience, there's really only 12 that I like a lot. And of all those careers that I really like, this is the career where you can get into it within like a month or two and you can legitimately have a shot at making six figures your first year. The only other one where you have a legitimate shot at doing that is software development, but typically that one takes something more like six months to a year to get into. So because of the fact that you don't have to get a college degree, you don't have to do some kind of crazy residency, spend a bunch of time, effort, and money to get into this, and you can make a super good salary. A lot of the time it's 70, $80,000 a year. You even have a shot at making six figures in your first year. This one gets a 10 out of 10 when it comes to salary. And next, we're gonna talk about X factors. And I sort of already went over this a little bit, but you know, this is one of the most valuable skill sets that you can possibly learn. Sales is the career that a lot of billionaires actually have in common. So when they did an analysis looking at a bunch of different billionaires and saw what jobs they had in their past, sales was number one. And I believe they did the same analysis on millionaires and sales was also number one as well. So this is an incredibly valuable skill set to know in general, even if you don't end up working in sales in your future, it's just gonna be really valuable and helpful in your life. Because the first thing they teach you in sales is seek first to understand the other person then seek to be understood. And that is something you see a lot of people making mistakes at, whether it's you know with your coworkers or with your significant other or at work. And then on top of that, this is not something that can be outsourced. Typically, sales jobs have to be done by people who are in the country that you are selling to. Sometimes you can have sales jobs where it's like you know a person from the UK selling to the US, but typically they are done within the country that you are selling to because I don't know, it's just easier to relate to somebody who has your own accent. So it's very, very unlikely that it will ever be outsourced. On top of that, there is no way this is ever going to be automated. It is 100% automation proof. I am telling you right now, sales will never be automated. Okay, maybe it might be automated, but again, at that point, you know, nobody will have to work because robots are just doing everything for us. So yeah, when you look at all the X factors, they're all there. This one definitely is 10 out of 10 when it comes to X factors. So this one gets a total score of 9.375 out of 10 phenomenal career one of the only ones you can get into at the entry level without a degree without any experience and make really good money obviously sales is not going to be for everyone it's not everyone's cup of tea but it's worth trying out if you enjoyed this video check out abdul's interview video i'll put it like right here um, it's a really good one and he talks about how he got into sales really quickly at a very young age without any experience also gently tap the like button hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, et cetera, that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.